First, we need to introduce some terminology. A linear equation is an equation of the form ax plus b equals zero, where a and b are real numbers with a not equal to zero. That is, the variable or unknown is x. Linear equations are also called first degree equations because the exponent on the variable is one. The solution of an equation is the value of x that makes the equation true. We say the solution satisfies the equation. Some examples of linear equations are 2x plus 5 equals negative 1. x minus 6 plus 7 times 3x plus 4 equals 6 minus 2 times 5x minus 1. 1 half x plus 3 fourths is equal to 5 eighths x. Equations that are not linear are x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0, 1 divided by x minus 3 equals 5 divided by x, or square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3. We will turn our attention to working a few examples. The goal in solving an equation is to produce equivalent equations until the equation is of the form x equals some number. That is, we want to isolate the variable to one side and the constant to the other side. The addition and multiplication properties tell us that we can add or subtract the same number from each side of the equation, or multiply or divide each side of the equation by the same non-zero number. Basically remember this rule. What you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. We have to balance, that is maintain the equality of the two expressions of the equation. In example one, we have the equation x plus four times x minus five is equal to four times x minus two. Our first goal is to simplify each side of the equation as much as possible. First, we apply the distributive property to each side to get x plus 4x minus 20 is equal to 4x minus 8. Now combine like terms on the left side to get 5x minus 20 is equal to 4x minus 8. To get the x terms on one side, subtract 4x from each side. This gives us x minus 20 is equal to negative 8. Now add 20 to each side to get x equals 12. We can check by replacing x with 12 in the original equation. That gives us 12 plus 4 times 12 minus 5 or 12 plus 4 times 7 
which is equal to 12 plus 28 or 40 on the left. The right side is 4 times 12 minus 2 or 4 times 10 which equals 40. Because the left and right side of the equations agree at this value 12, 12 is the solution. We say the solution set is the set containing 12. Example 2 is 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 2 equals 1 minus 5 times 4x plus 3. To begin, we apply the distributive property on each side. We get 2x minus 6x minus 6 on the left. Remember that we distribute the negative 3 to each term in the parentheses and multiplying by a negative number changes the sign. On the right side we have 1 minus 20x minus 15. Combining like terms gives us negative 4x minus 6 equals negative 20x minus 14. Add 20x to each side to collect the variable terms to one side and add 6 to each side to collect the constant terms to the other side. Simplifying gives us 16x equals negative 8. Divide each side by 16 to get x equals negative 8 divided by 16 or negative 1 half. So the solution set is negative 1 half. Now, pause the video to check your understanding by solving the equation 5 times v minus 4 minus 2 equals 2 times v plus 7 minus 3. When you're ready to check, press play. Let's check your work. You should get 5v minus 20 minus 2 equals 2v plus 14 minus 3. This simplifies to 5v minus 22 equals 2v plus 11. Subtract 2v from each side and add 22 to each side. 3v equals 33. Now divide each side by 3 to get v is equal to 11. Example 3 is 2 thirds x minus 5 6 x minus 3 is equal to 1 half x minus 5. This equation is linear. Recall that 2 thirds x is the same as 2x divided by 3. Negative 5 6 x is the same as negative 5x divided by 6 and 1 half x is the same as x divided by 2. So note that there are no variables in the denominator and all of the exponents on x are 1. To solve a linear equation with fractional coefficients we multiply each side of the equation by the least common denominator. 
The smallest number that 3, 6, and 2 divide into is 6. Multiplying the left side of the equation by 6, we can distribute 6 to each term. to get 6 times 2 thirds x or 4x minus 6 times 5 6 x or minus 5 x minus 6 times 3 or minus 18. Multiplying the right side by 6, we get 6 times 1 half x or 3x minus 6 times 5 or minus 30. So the equivalent equation is 4x minus 5x minus 18 equals 3x minus 30. Combining like terms gives us negative x minus 18 equals 3x minus 30. Add x to each side and add 30 to each side. To get 12 equals 4x. Divide each side by 4 to get 3 equals x. The solution set is 3. Now pause the video and check your understanding with the equation y plus 5 divided by 2 minus y minus 2 divided by 4 equals y plus 7 divided by 3 plus 1. Click the play button when you're ready to check. Ready to check? Let's multiply each side of the equation by the least common denominator 12. 12 times y plus 5 divided by 2 is 6 times y plus 5 or 6y plus 30 minus 12 times y minus 2 divided by 4 is minus 3 times y minus 2 or minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 12 times y plus 7 divided by 3 which is equal to 4 times y plus 7 or 4y plus 28 plus 12 times 1 is plus 12. We have the equation 6y plus 30 minus 3y plus 6 equals 4y plus 28 plus 12 or combining like terms gives us 3y plus 36 equals 4y plus 40. Subtracting 4y from each side and subtracting 36 from each side, we get negative y equals 4. 
negative y is negative 1 times y. So we divide each side by negative 1 to get y equals negative 4. The solution set is negative 4.